information technologies. Today I'm going to uh, do a demonstration of our speech and speaker recognition engines. Um, the Recomade Easy engines, which are our products and have been our products since 2003, include three different main parts, um, actually four. We have speech recognition, which is transcription. We have speaker recognition, which is identifying, let's say, the speaker or verifying the identity of the speaker based on their voice. We have emotion detection based on the voice, and we also have face recognition, which is, um, you know, you could actually have a video that has the face of the individual, the voice of the individual, it can transcribe the thing. Um, uh, there are a lot of other things that the engine does. It also does segmentation of the audio, so it does full diarization, which gives you the segments, the, the speech transcription for each segment, and also who spoke, and then also gives you like the gender of the person. All of that comes back in like JSON, um, um, in the JSON format, and uh, you can parse it and, and get your information out. Um, the engine actually has several parts. Um, it has a server, it has a uh, worker, a whole bunch of workers, and it also has a bunch of clients. And it can run in different languages, currently in English, Mandarin, um, Chinese, Arabic, and German. And it can do any combination of these languages as well. So, for example, you can do German English, you can do Mandarin English, you can do Arabic English. That means it's, the engine is bilingual and you can speak both languages, code switch back and forth between the languages. I'll demonstrate some of those things for you. So, first thing, let's just demonstrate the speech recognition transcription, which is a large vocabulary transcription. Um, um, this has this engine right now has 240,000 unique words in it, which is far more than an individual knows. Um, all of Shakespeare's works had about 37,000 unique words, and any individual on a normal day would only use up to about a thousand words, uh, unique words. Uh, so 240,000 words is is quite large. Um, and the bilingual version has 340,000 words, 240,000 words in the main language, let's say in Mandarin, and 100,000 words in English, which are the most frequent words in the language. Okay, so let's just start. Um, so here um, I have the engine running the window here, and I have another window where I'm running the client. All of these can be on the same machine or could be spread out, and they can all fit on a little Raspberry Pi, $30 Raspberry Pi, um, and only occupy about 500 megabytes out of the one gig of RAM that it has uh, and run faster than real time, which means they can keep up with anything that you send them. So uh, this is running on my laptop right now. Everything's on my laptop. So um, flexible and responsive, and that is all super hard. And you can't do that without middlemen and middlemen. Intermediaries who do the hard job of organizing politics every day they get up and figure out how do we put the coalitions together how do we recruit smart sensible sane people to run how do we get them to follow each other instead of behave like cats on a flatbed truck so you need those people and they need tools to do it they need stuff like pork barrel spending they need campaign money that they can use. They need to have some control over the nominating process. They need to be able to go behind closed doors and work. If you notice, you'll they see that uh, sometimes and goes back and actually corrects the last few words based on the context. Away. We decided politics is going to be better if it's directly from the people and the candidates and no one in between, and you get chaos as a result. Now, what you also get, of course, are the opinions of people who were locked out of the system for much of its history, right? Women, people of color, et cetera. So isn't that part of the trade-off that instead of having a bunch of white dudes deciding who is or is not in power, we have a messier process, but one that at least includes more people? So that's a very standard critique, you know, the old political machines excluded people and if you want to bring people in you've you've got to demolish the sort of standard political order i think it's a red herring i actually think it's wrong the evidence from political science shows that 
political machines like Tammany Hall were really good at bringing new people into politics. So as you can see, um, it also has timestamp information, the like this is the beginning and this is the end of a segment. This is the length of a segment. These are likelihoods that come back and confidences. Um, about the segments the power that you can also utilize in order to be able to understand the like segmentation and, and you know, what's being said. Um, I'm actually showing this in text mode so that you can see it easily, but, right? but the really the results are coming back in JSON format. Um, uh, I will show you quickly what the JSON is going to look like. Um, and then you sort of parse it out. So it I'm parsing it right now automatically and showing you the like results as, as it comes in. Um, so I think that may be enough. Let me just stop this. Um, and um, let me show you if I, for example, so I can actually run this. This was in live mode. I can actually write, run this in batch mode, which means I can actually give it an audio file. So let me just give it an audio file, for example, this short. Um, Ted Medley of speakers transcribes the uh, audio for you and so this is the speed that it actually transcribes the audio um, you can see um, it just transcribed 35 seconds of audio um, it is much faster than real time in fact it can run 17 times faster than real time on my laptop and I'll show you some of those um, so um, uh, this is the beginning time of the segment this is the end time of the segment uh, this is the length of the segment um, in, in actuality and this is the length of the segment with some padded s spaces in between the two phrases uh, in between the two sentences um, this is a uh, um, this is a score and this is a confidence level and also I can actually run a diarization, um, a full diarization on this file um, which means um, since I've already uh, trained, uh, um, you know, enrolled the voices of uh, eight individuals um, from TED Talks um, in this in the system. Um, I can actually now um, run the audio, and it can, it can tell me which segments were spoken by which individual. Here, I'll run it and I'll show you. So this is, as you can see, um, this is the speech segment, which just like before. Uh, let, let let me let it run. So. So I'm going to go back up to the beginning of it. Um, so this is the beginning of the segment. As you can see, so oh, actually, this is the beginning of the segment right here. So um, this is from 0 seconds to 4.232 seconds. The person said, if you stand and stare out of the window on your own. But the person who spoke, you know, uh, so this is the results. The next line is the results of the speaker recognition, which is segment number 0. Um, starting from time zero to 4.2 seconds and the gender of the person is male um, this is again a confidence and score and the person who spoke is actually Rory Sutherland and here's a confidence and a score associated um, for each individual so, so this confidence and score is for the fact that the um, so this one sorry this one um, is for the gender um, and no yeah yeah this one is for the gender and then um, this this confidence and score is for this individual being the speaker and then you have another co uh, confidence and another score as you can see the score for being unknown is much lower than this 46 40, 62 for Rory Sutherland so the next runner-up basically is an unknown in unknown male and then the next one is an unknown female um, the next piece, um, it's, uh, you know, again, is spoken by um, Rory Sutherland. And then the following piece, you can see the speech recognizer saying, we only have five minutes. It's better to, you know, that we have a fast and a simple way. So here, um, the speaker basically is a female and her name is Shaolan Su and so on and so forth. You can see this other person is a male, Sangdel, and then we can go on. Uh, this one is male and it's Bill Gates. The next person is um, a female, Leslie Chang, and that's the la that's the final thing, and that's what she says. The simple narrative equating Western demands and Chinese suffering is appealing. Um, so, um, so this is a full diarization. If I actually ran this um, with a request to give us the whole JSON out, 
this is what you would see. So this is actually the whole JSON output, and it has all the information, including hypotheses. It has the the you know the top match, the next match for for the speech recognizer, for the speaker recognition. Has confidence levels, it has scores, it has everything that you need in order to be able to understand um, the text. So let me um, stop the English. Um, so I'm going to start the Mandarin server. And I'm going to do the same thing for you. I'm just going to do a live test um, of Mandarin. I have a couple of videos here. There's one here and then here. Um, I'm going to run them. I just downloaded these from YouTube. I'm going to run this live, and it's going to intercept the audio and transcribe it for us. Hotel国外有很风行的一物一物现在也传回到国内来了，因为有一群企业老板就迷上了一物一物的交易方式。纽约市法自家生产的时候，经销商拿来交换，其实挺开运的旅游。还有人则是搬出了板桥四千万的透
，企业在战略上应以市场为中心，在运营上应以财务为中心，但一切工作都要靠人去做。与此同时，欧美澳等国众多华侨应征入伍，开赴欧亚各战场，同德意日法西斯浴血奋战。这是由北京林业大学王斌瑞教授带领的专家组用八年时间。精细雕琢过的黄土高坡，带着诸多疑问，迎着和煦的春风，我们走访了圆明园遗址。它是一株秀美、挺拔、昂扬的木棉树，因为拥有橡树的爱情和高远的天空，显得格外迷人。Okay, um, so let me show you something else now. I can actually do a diarization. I think I have this actually, um. Uh, I have these people, um, I think there are 19 of them, uh, 19 speakers that I've uh, trained up, uh, I mean enrolled into the system. So it should be able to also identify the speakers as well as um, recognizing the speech. So let's just try this. Yeah, as you can see, it also is giving us the speaker information. So it's giving us the, um, the text as well as who the speaker is. So the speakers are um, numbered uh, they start with a D and then you know they, they have all these different like numbers D31 D32 as you can see as the speech the speech is being transcribed and you can see how fast it's actually transcribing and also identifying the speakers it's much faster than real time um, it's already done a hunt it's already done the whole thing the, the three minutes of audio I'm gonna start stop this thing um, and I'm going to load the bilingual Mandarin and English system. Okay, now um, I'm just gonna do a. Um, I'm gonna let me stop this, and I'm going to do a Mandarin English version, which is basically a, a bilingual system. Um, let me do a, a full diarization. So let me do this transcription first, just to show you. So transcribe batch. Um, um, I'm gonna give it uh, this. Um, Sample audio, which is um, Mandarin English sample, which is a mixture of English and uh, Mandarin. So as you can see, it, in, you know this one, this part is in English, and then it switches over to Chinese, to English, to Chinese, to English, um, to Chinese, English, Chinese. It goes switches back and forth. Now the only problem that it had is here it mistook one English I'm uh, on one Chinese word for the word partially and I think it's the Chinese something like Pasha um, so which is very similar to it um, uh, so you know pretty much was able to do this so I can actually do a full diarization in bilingual as well English and now it should give us not only g just the uh, transcription but it also gives us the uh, speaker names like um, you know Rory Sutherland D12, Shaolan Su, D21, Sangdel, D31, Bill Gates, D4, um, Leslie Chang, D8. So these are all the speakers you know the, the ones with the D are the Chinese speakers and the English ones you know had, had the English um, names. So I'm going to stop this now. I want to show you the Arabic. So let's start the Arabic server. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing. Let's do, two, I think, yeah, 300 seconds. Um, so here I have three different dialects of Arabic. I have uh, something from Dubai TV. Um, um, I have one from Lebanon and then another one from Egypt um, with different dialects. So let's start it out. And, and notice there's going to be music in the background, sometimes very loud. وليعهد أبو ظبي يطلق القمة العالمية للمياه تزامنا مع قمة الطاقة العام المقبل لتأكيد جهود الإمارات الطموحة للتصدي لأهم التحديات العالمية. 
Okay, let's switch over to the Lebanese one. There's gonna be a lot of music in the beginning and then then she's gonna speak over a, a loud music. <laughs> I mean, the engine is still listening, but it knows it's music, so it's not putting out anything. So it started. عبر شراكة وثيقة بين وزارة الشؤون الاجتماعية وبرنامج الأمم المتحدة الإنمائي بنفذ مشروع دعم المجتمعات اللبنانية المضيفة من العام 2013 مشاريع لدعم المجتمعات المحلية لتخطي تداعيات الأزمة السورية على لبنان وهالشي بفضل المساهمات السخية لدول مانحة مثل ألمانيا، المملكة المتحدة، هولندا، الولايات المتحدة، إيطاليا، الدنمارك، النروج، اليابان، الكويت الكنيسة الوردونيزية في إيطاليا والاتحاد الأوروبي ونفذ لها 380 مشروع بغطي قطاعات مختلفة مثل خدمات البلدية، خدمات الاجتماعية وسبل العيش وبيستفيد منا أكثر من مليون لبناني وسوري بعنوين نشة اليوم مساحة خضراء للالتقاء والفرح بقلب برش حمود الوزير بيرد ميلر من المرش ألمانيا راح تضيف 15 مليون أوكي، okay, نحن 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 مصر أرض الفراعنة الذين أسسوا أول دولة موحدة في التاريخ وحكموا البلاد كأنصاف آلهة على مدى ثلاثة آلاف عام لكن بعد ذلك سقطت البلاد فريسة لسلسلة من المحتلين الأجانب محمد علي باشا القائد العثماني العسكري كان ألباني الأصل واعتلى عرش مصر عام 1805 للميلاد. Okay, um, so in the interest of time, I'm gonna stop this. Um, and of course, this has also bilingual, just like the um, Mandarin version. And now I'm gonna show you German. Okay, I'm gonna show you now uh, some German. Um, basically um, the German um, again has German English as well as just German um, again 240,000 word vocabulary for for the pure German um, there are two videos that I'm gonna try um, uh, the first one is in the dialect from Germany the standard dialect of Germany uh, by the Ministry of um, Environment in Germany and then the other one is um, a, an Austrian um, dialect. So let me um, listen to 200 seconds of audio. Meine sehr geehrten Damen und Herren, sehr geehrter Professor Anheyer, sehr geehrter Professor Chalmers und sehr geehrter Herr Schmidt für die Mercator Stiftung. Wir haben eben schon ein bisschen miteinander gesprochen. Ich glaube, dass wir in dem Gefühl hier zusammen sind. Sehr geehrte Lady Darendorf, darf Sie Herzlich begrüßen, es ist eine Ehre auch für mich, dass Sie hier sind. Ich glaube, wir sind hier in dem Gefühl, dass diese Tagung nicht aktueller sei, hätte sein können, als sie ist. Sie kommt sozusagen genau in der Reife der Zeit, die aber gleichzeitig auch Ausdruck der dringenden Notwendigkeit ist. All right, let's try the Austrian one now. Ich kann euch nur sagen, ich bin wirklich überwältigt. Wir haben monatelang gekämpft, wir haben eine breite Bewegung aufgebaut. Wir haben ein Ziel verfolgt, nämlich am 15. Oktober als Erster durchs Ziel zu gehen und wir haben das Unmögliche möglich gemacht. Vielen Dank für euren Einsatz und diesen historischen Erfolg. Der heutige Tag ist nicht der Tag des Triumphes über andere sondern der heutige Tag ist unsere Chance für echte Ver Veränderung in diesem Land. Der heutige Tag ist ein starker Auftrag für uns, dieses Land zu verändern. Und ich danke euch, dass ihr das möglich gemacht habt. Wir haben heute von den Wählerinnen und Wählern eine sehr große Verantwortung übertragen bekommen. Wir sollten uns alle dieser Verantwortung bewusst sein und wir sollten uns auch bewusst sein, dass viele Menschen große Hoffnungen in unsere Bewegung setzen. Ich kann euch heute versprechen, ich werde mit... Okay, so um, 
I think that's probably enough to show you. Um, just to show you how fast the engine can can do this, this is on my laptop. Let me just run the the video that we saw, the first one, um, the keynote speech of the environment um, uh, minister of, of Germany. Um, here's a version of it. I'm going to run just through the engine um, and see how fast it can transcribe. So this number shows how many seconds of it already transcribed. And it's doing it live on my laptop only. Um, this is how fast it, tra it transcribes the system. Uh, okay, so 212, 213 seconds of audio were transcribed at the speed that you saw. Um, that's basically all I wanted to show um, and sort of look for um, future demos uh, from recognition technologies. Thank you.